I really enjoy um, the staff, working with all the staff at Eastern. I really enjoy working with technology and computers and video. Oh, I love being a teacher. Yeah, I really enjoy uh, teaching and really enjoy working at Eastern High School in the Lansing District. Uh, Mr. Richter is a great teacher. I just think he's a great guy. He is Mr. Eastern. Mr. Eastern all the way, both in his participation and his passion for his job and the school. Copy and paste it in a word and then save the word file in your H drive. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then tomorrow you can add to it. Did you finish your 60 second highlight? All right, let me check that. We'll check it tomorrow. Remind me first thing. How are you guys coming? What are you working on? Cross country? You got a guy running? Animation? Sweet. You know, when you go into his classroom, you see on a regular basis, it sort of gives you a feel of being in the college setting. He's talking to the kids, he's demonstrating at the same time, so he has a number of different things that he's doing. He never has any classroom management problems. The kids love coming into his class. He has high attendance rate. Uh, the kids are all actively engaged. He's just a great teacher having staff. All right, so Wanda, you're done with your flash. Travis, you're half done. You're going to do the second part right now, right? So you've got the text flying in and you've got the mask. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now um, I'll go mark your grade down and then you go ahead and start on the 60 second highlight. All right, hey, Stephanie, in the P drive, your two flash files are there. You can close that off, Mark. He does a very good job of making sure that you go at your own pace and not having to be held back or pushed too far ahead. I, I never see him make lists, but he seems to always get things done that, that people need that done, and he's just very likable. Teachers would come into his class all the time and say, my computer doesn't work, can you help me? And he would always be going down and lending a helping hand to any teacher that needed it. What you want to do is uh, take this, cut it out of here, put it up into this layer. Each one needs its own layer when you do that tween. So your, word, your name here, Kylie, has its own layer, and then Salazar has its own layer, and now they'll fly in. So that's perfect. So now go ahead and do the second part to that, see how that goes. But teachers like Mr. Richter help, help us out as public safety a lot because when things are going on in the building, uh, we can count on teachers like Mr. Richter's classroom where we have no problems, we have no phone calls coming. You know, uh, kids are not being put out of his classroom because they're doing what they need to do inside the classroom to stay there. Teachers like Mr. Richter are 100% help for us to make our job a little easier here. Does anybody have anything to be checked? John, you got to check your photo page. And now come back over to your folder and then right click it and paste it. Okay, now you're going to have everybody's picture. I, I like that graphic. I highlight that. And then instead of using symbol font, change that. Pick something else. Flash. Oh, this is just a flash, right? This is part one? Let's do it. Perfect. How'd you figure out how to rotate it? Does, did you know that? Yeah. Students look at him as a role model. Um, they, they go to him for advice. He assists them with learning new things. He gets them to challenge themselves in learning new things. He's just, it's just overall just great all the time. For classroom management, I believe 99% preparation. I try to put, I'd rather prepare, I would rather spend two hours preparing, over preparing for my lesson so that when kids come in, they know what's expected of them. Um, if you don't do that, then occasionally, from my, my point of view, what you start to do is you start to get behavior problems um, because kids just don't know what you, what you want from them. So they're like, well, they haven't told me what to do, so I guess I'll just talk to my neighbor or I'll start to you know, come off task. So I always have, have um, the philosophy of over-prepare. Um, be very organized. Let the students know what it is that they need to do to be successful in your class. Don't make it a mystery. I don't go home every night um, thinking about that confrontation I had with that student that day because I just really don't have very many of those at all. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. Nice. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Very nice. Say that. Hey guys, don't forget to save that work, log off, push your chairs in, have a great day, see you tomorrow. Good job today. Everybody was able to learn separately. We don't all learn the same way. And so it was a great experience to be able to learn 
and to be comfortable in the learning environment. You are? Oh, yeah. This is Mr. Richter, my favorite teacher right here, Tom Richter the Constrictor. <laughs> Mr. Richter's awesome! Woo! <laughs> I don't think he ever really acts like he's having a bad day. He, he just constantly gives and he never asks for much. You always hear about teaching being like gardening, where you know you plant your seeds and you have to wait for those seeds to start to develop. And you really see that with kids in the high school and the more years you're here, you see the kids that you had in ninth grade and in 10th grade. And then next thing you know, they graduate. It's almost sometimes it's just like when they're seniors, they're getting ready to graduate is when they're really starting to take hold. That's what we're helping to create, those students. And when they're, at that, when they're in the Breslin and they're up there to see that, it's like, you know, I had a small part play in uh, helping them achieve that. And so um, it's a nice time for me to just, to, just to sit back and, and reflect a little bit and enjoy the, all the success.